What's up guys, my name is Jared Kaufman. I'm a framer here in Colorado. I've been building houses for about seven years and today I want to show you the top 10 best, most affordable tools to start framing. Make sure to stick around to the end too to see a tour of the whole tool belt setup and then to also see how you can win it because I'm going to do a giveaway. So a lot of people, myself included, can easily spend like 1200 1500 bucks on their setup but you can easily get a really good setup for, I'm going to bet we can do it for less than 150 bucks so we'll see. <laughs> So these are our options. The big thing to look at when you're looking at these is you want tool slots on the right side and you want fasteners on the left side. Unless you're left-handed, then it's reversed. Right off the bat, looking at this, this looks like the best option. You could spend 140 bucks on a leather set, but if you're gonna spend that much, it's better to just go big. So I'll go with this one, that's 53 bucks. And yeah, it's a good start. What I like is tool slots on the right side. You want your tools on the right side where you're grabbing them with your hands. You're right-handed, you're gonna use the tool with your right hand. Hand loop in the back is good, centered, distributes the weight better. The belt pad is nice, that'll help it be more comfortable. You're wearing this thing for eight or nine hours a day, so that really is beneficial. And then on the left side, you've got fasteners, some little spots for bits, tape measure clip. This is actually pretty sweet. I wish I had this when I started. <laughs> Next tool I'm gonna grab is a chisel. You could get a big chisel that's 18 bucks. I always just got the multi packs. You really only want the one inch chisel. We're just gonna throw the other two away or throw them in a toolbox or whatever. But at least a one inch, if not one and a half, is the best. But that'll work. So, chisels is something that I actually don't mind going cheap on because if you're a framer using a chisel, you're gonna hit nails, you're gonna hit concrete, all this stuff, and you're gonna dole it up anyways. So, it really doesn't need to be that expensive of a chisel. We call them beater chisels, and there's a reason, so. All right, tape measures are super important when you're doing any kind of construction. You obviously need to be able to measure everything. The one I would actually recommend, this is not even if you're going cheapest, but I'd, I've used the 30-foot Fat Max for a really long time. This tape measure will last you a really long time. You'll still need to replace it, but that's just how it goes. But for the sake of price, this one will do the exact same job for like half the price. So we're gonna go with this one. All right, so the next two tools on our list is Torpedo Level. I used this one for a really long time. It never broke. I just got a new one and I liked it better. So my wife got me for that. So thanks wife. Um, the other tool is Chalk Line. So the Milwaukee Chalk Line's great. I wouldn't put the blue chalk in it. I'd actually buy red chalk separately. It's not gonna matter either way. Um, this was about $11 and this was 15 bucks. And I'm actually unbiased. I'm gonna put this in my toolbox because I need a new chalk line anyway. So I'm just gonna use this one. Some people might not think a torpedo level is necessary, um, but it's just nice to have a reference sometimes if you need to level. I wouldn't use it for anything longer than like four feet because it's only about 10 inches long. Um, but it's still just good to know. You can double check that something is level, things like that. So that's why I like them. All right, so the next tool that I recommend guys carry is a set of pliers with a adjustable jaws. This is great for one, clearing nail jams, um, just pliers come in handy all the time, but also what's nice is you can use these to tighten a bolt in a pinch. We use a lot of three quarter inch bolts as framers. If you're a framer already, you'll know that, but these will come in handy. You'll use them almost every day. So that's what I recommend. These are 11 bucks. So again, not too bad.
to my wife for helping <laughs> me today. All right, so we got six of the 10 tools from Home Depot. Now we're gonna head to Lowe's. The reason I'm going to Lowe's is Home Depot has good options for some of the tools, but there's certain ones that you can get for the same price that are just a little bit better at Lowe's. So we're gonna go there just so, to make sure we get the best items we would want. Some people are like pro Home Depot, pro Lowe's, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're the same thing. One's blue and one's, you know, orange. <laughs> Okay, so for hammers, what I would recommend at this price range is something wood handled. So the two options are the 23 ounce and the 19 ounce. The 23 ounce is my first hammer. The only reason I'm not gonna go for it is the ones that they have, the grain is going side to side and I want it to be going top to bottom. But the 19 ounce ones have a lot better. It's still not perfectly up and down, but it's a lot closer. This will have a lot more strength when I'm putting tension on it this way or tension on it from hammering, it's a lot less likely to snap. So that's why I'm gonna go with this one. Another thing to keep in mind when you're getting a hammer, you want waffle face, at least if you're gonna be a framer. Finish carpenter, you want smooth face. So this is our nail puller options. Honestly, you can't really go wrong with any of them. I know a lot of great carpenters who have used every single one of these. But what I like is I like a thinner profile and I like at least a 10 inch length because you're using a lot of prying and levering with these so this just makes it a lot better. Not to mention it's on sale for nine bucks which is a score. So I'm gonna grab this one and yeah that's what will go on our set. Or buy one that this man makes in real life. Oh right. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna get a utility knife. You need this, you need this to sharpen your pencil, you need it to cut paper, to open boxes, everything. You need it. And I'll tell you right now, what you don't want is a folding utility knife for your tool bags. Because a folding knife, you put it in your pocket, it'll fall all the way to the bottom. It's winter, you got big gloves on, you won't be able to grab it, and you're gonna hate yourself. So, you can't go wrong with, you know, just a cheap, straightforward knife like this. Super simple design, so they're like impossible to break. This one or the Stanley 99E, they're pretty much identical. That's just a classic. You'll never run out, so. I'm just gonna show that you have a hammer in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Carts are for weak people. I'm strong. I'm not stealing it, I promise. All right, so now we're here looking at speed squares. Now here is a I guess you could call it a pro tip, but here is an example. This is Swanson Speed Square. This is the classic, look at that, $10, this one's $12. What's the difference? They're both Swanson Speed Squares. I'll tell you right now. So, one, this one comes with this book, which is cool. It's not really what you need right now at this stage, but notice this. See all the sliding marks on this one? They go all the way up to five and three quarters. On this one, they go up to two and three quarters. I use that all the time, so get the one that has more of those. Another good option that they have here is the Johnny Square. This is the black powder coated one. I would go on Amazon, you can get just the straight aluminum one, and it's seven bucks. And I literally, I bought one and I still have it and I still use it all the time, so it's an awesome option. Same thing, it has lots of slider options. But what we're gonna go with is this one, it's a couple bucks cheaper and it does the same thing. So we finished all up. I got my list here. Let's see if you can see that. Do you see the one last item that's not checked? It's pencil. And listen, you could buy a pencil at Home Depot or Lowe's for 20 cents and it only costs you two dimes, whatever. Here's the reason I didn't put it on the list. Anytime you get a lumber delivery, anytime you go to a lumber yard, most hardware stores other than the big box stores, you can literally ask them for pencils and they'll give you a handful of pencils completely for free. 
I literally just grabbed these. I just looked around what was near me and grabbed these. These are two free pencils that I have. My company personally has like a box of a thousand pencils. I give my guys like 30 at a time. All that being said, don't spend money on a pencil. It's so not worth it. The Home Depot ones suck anyways. Just ask your local lumber yards for them. Ask your delivery drivers and they'll give them to you. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna go through and add up the totals of everything just to see where we landed. Um, okay, tool belt was 53 bucks. Hammer, 30 bucks. Square, 12 bucks. Chalk line, 15 bucks. Chisel, $14. Torpedo was $11. Cat's paw, $9. The pliers was $11, tape measure $18, and the knife was $5. So that brings us up to $178, a little above $150, but that was not a bad that was not a bad estimate. So look at that, less than $180, bucks, you can get all the tools you need, and they're still decent quality tools. They're not gonna sacrifice any quality on the work that you're doing. So now we go get to do the fun part where we put them all together and put them on. So, naturally, the first thing I'm going to open is the knife because I can use that to open everything else. Don't ever buy blades for your knife before you buy it because they come full of them. So, we don't have to get them separately. This has one blade and then two replacements for it. It's not bad. All right, so bags on, all set up. So first thing I'll throw in is the hammer. Pick that up. Don't need that anymore. That goes right in the back where she belongs. So, up next, cat's paw. Cat's paw should always have a spot on the left side. So you can grab it at the same time as your hammer. Bingo. That's not a bad spot for it actually because it keeps it away. Sometimes it'll be right here and it'll jab you in the back of the leg, but this will so miss it. So, so that's awesome. We'll get our speed square. Speed squares, super important. It's one of the most important things. It's one of the most bummer of the things to not have in your bags. So that's one thing about these bags off the bat. It doesn't have a designated square spot. It's a little bit of a bummer. I could put it here if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. I'll probably just leave it in that for now. Next up, tape measure. There you go. Tape measure in this case has a spot right here. Not a bad spot for it at all. perfect spot for it, right in that little guy right there. Just my pliers, same thing, and one of these sleeves on the right side. Chisel, I like to put these in a sleeve as well if I can, so that way the sharp tip doesn't cut a hole in your tool bags. So that'll go right there, Our line. Chalk line goes on the left side as well. Or actually, no, chalk line goes on the right side. It's a tool. I'll put that right here. Bada bing. And then last but not least, pencil. That's a big reason why you need the knife. Keep your pencil sharp. Wow, this knife is super sharp. These blades are like really nice. 
go. Knife right there, pencil right there. Bada bing, we're ready. So there's all the tools in there, ready to go. I'm gonna be using this setup for like a week or two, just kind of as a point to say that you don't need to have the nicest tools in order to still do a decent job. Um, so yeah, I'll be using these for a week or so and then I'll actually be giving them away. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but just make sure you're following us on Instagram too because it might be through that. So anyways, let's, uh, let's test them out and see how they work. So we have all our tools here. I'm just gonna kind of go through and talk about each one. First most is the hammer. The Really the most important thing of a hammer, nowadays we're not driving nails with them all the time. What we are doing with them is moving things, pulling nails, prying boards apart, things like that. And really you don't need to spend a lot of money. Just a good 20, 30 bucks will get you something that'll get the job done just fine. It'll do a great job of it. And really if you need to drive nails in, it'll do that as well. The next tool would be the square. This is a really, really easy tool to get a good one of. This, like you guys saw, costs us 10, 12 bucks, whatever. You could spend almost $400 on one of these if you really wanted to. The reality is at the end of the day, this one marks 90 degrees just fine and it even does a little more than that with all these special things on there. All that matters if you can mark a decent line and, and cut it with a saw. Next, once again, tape measure. Exact same principle applies. It works. It might not be as durable as a more expensive one, but it's just as accurate and it's just as effective. And frankly, the less money you spend on it means a little bit extra money in your pocket, which at the end of the day makes it more profitable. After that is a chalk line. Chalk lines, what I love about them is you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really good one. This is one of my favorite ones just in general, regardless of how much it costs and it does its job great. It'll pull a line, it'll snap it, it'll reel it back up, all that good stuff. Next is the torpedo. These things are just great. They're super light. You barely notice they're on your person at all and they just come in handy. If you wanna double check something, if you wanna nail a short cripple stud and you wanna make sure it's level, you wanna check a roof pitch with your speed square, it does it all and super simple design, super compact, they're, they're great. We got the pliers up next. Like I said in the store, you can clear a gun jam with it. You can tighten a bolt. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can pick up something if it's hot. If you just cut a piece of steel, it's it's just exactly what you need. You can pull a splinter, heck, if you get needle nose pliers. Chisel. What's nice about a chisel? Again, it's sharp. Sometimes you make a cut, doesn't get all the way through. You need to clean it up in the corner. Chisel's perfect for that. It's sharp enough you can just smack it with your hammer and it'll dig it out. It's a flathead screwdriver in a pinch if you need it to be. It does a lot of great things. Pencil, again, they're free. Really, not a lot goes into them. The pencil is less important than it is about the tools you're using to mark with them. You have a good tape measure, a good square, and you know how to use both those things, then a pencil will help you achieve your goal. And then of course, the tool bags themselves. Tool bags is the first tool that I would recommend upgrading rather than getting a cheap one. And the reason is this is literally attached to your body for eight to 10 hours every single day. Your body is what you use to make money in this career. You gotta take care of it. And having a nicer set of tool bags is a good way to do that. Another reason is these honestly do have a pretty good layout. I was pretty impressed with these, but they won't last as long as a more expensive pair. These cost 50 bucks. And the set of $300 bags that I have in my truck right now cost me almost 400 bucks, but they'll last eight to 10 times longer and they're more comfortable while I do it. Like I said before, I wanna give these away to someone who needs them. So if you want these, or if you know who need, someone who needs these, um, this, here's what you'll have to do to get them. Just subscribe to the video and then like it and drop your Instagram name in the comments. I'm also gonna be doing a video here pretty soon of me using these bags for about a week or so just to sort of show that you don't have to spend a thousand dollars on a rig just to be good at your job a good carpenter always blames his tools that's what i meant because <laughs> that's total crap. <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching uh subscribe if you want to see more if you want to see me use these cheap tools but yeah thanks <laughs>